Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be working on a minecart station in here that is going to link up to the wheat farm and the skeleton spawner. And I'm also possibly going to be working in here trying to make this a little bit nicer looking. I might continue with this pattern of wood and, and stone bricks across here on the ceiling. I'm probably going to leave some of it open just because I like the way it looks. And as for the floor, I haven't decided yet if I want to go with something other than snow or just change the smooth stone or change the snow and the smooth stone together. I haven't decided yet. And that might not be something I actually come to a decision on today, although I might try a couple different styles. I'm going to be using sandstone here in this room for the train station. So I need to get some sand and uh, blow a little bit more of this out of here with dynamite. So I'm going to go up to the surface and uh, get some sand from the water and then we'll blow some of that up down there. So I'm going to take all the snow up. I'm pretty sure I don't want snow. And uh, I'm going to try maybe this mossy cobble for a while. I tried uh, pumpkins and, and melons and they don't look very good. Uh, and these don't look, this doesn't look too bad next to the sandstone. I'll probably have a line of stone bricks along the outside. And uh, I want to try this shovel out I got. Fortune 3. I don't know if it gives me more snowballs or clay or look, I just want to see if it did anything or if it's just looks like I'm getting the same amount as I normally would I haven't tried it on clay yet four I think I'm getting four for everyone I think that's I think you get four anyway, even with a regular shovel. Yeah. I'm not sure what that's good for. Alright, well, I'm going to try this mossy uh, cobble. I might put a different pattern of something around, around uh, the lights here. Okay, I kind of like this pattern I've been working with. <clears throat> I'm not done yet, but over here, just uh, half slabs and nether brick around the uh, redstone lamps and around some of the glowstone. <clears throat> and then a little bit of smooth stone mixed in on the edges and in this line here. I can continue this smooth stone all the way around and then fill in the rest like it is over here. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. I might make that smooth stone. Alright, so I'm going to finish this in here and then I'll see how it looks. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go with for a while. It's not the best thing i ever seen, but it's uh, more interesting than what I had, for sure. Um, I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to take all the snow out of here and probably put in the same thing going around like this. Looks pretty good. I really just like the half slabs what it boils down to. And the snow is okay, but 
I just don't like the way it looks with stone. It'd probably look better with wool. So I'm just going to keep it all in the chest over here and I'm sure I'll use it for something sometime. It might look better as a ceiling. Although I'm not going to use it as a ceiling in here. I'm going to continue with this wood pattern. But uh, at some point I'll probably use this as ceiling material. I changed this whole floor to half slabs. I'm just really in the half slabs right now. I just like the way it looks better. I did the hallways. I'm not going to do much with this room right now because it's still like a room in transition. <clears throat> I also moved my chest up onto these stairs. Although I don't know if I'm going to keep it there or not because uh, I kind of like being able to see through. So I'm going to keep them up there for now until I get a more proper storage area. This over here might eventually be the storage area because I would like to have a bigger laboratory. <clears throat> but for right now I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Uh, I did the same thing in here. I have this is a chest for stuff that I may need if I go to the nether. And this hallway might end up going somewhere farther. I don't know yet. So I've got 30 levels, so I need to enchant something. Hmm. <laughs> I have these two swords, and I have two swords down by the skeleton spawner too. They're both looting swords. I have a fortune three shovel and an efficiency three shovel. I've got these two pickaxes and this axe, and I have another axe over by the uh, mine cart used for mining. So I might make a pair of boots or something. I'm just not really into wearing diamond armor, but it might be good to have a, a, a set of really good armor for fighting the wither. Maybe I'll do that. Hey, that will do. Alright, cool. Alrighty, so I started opening this up a little, and I'm not sure how big it's going to need to be. I envision maybe four or five different tracks, and one place, one launching pad, although I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I might make a dispenser, or I might just have something like this over here. Where it will, where the uh, the block pops up right here, and it sends the cart down. <clears throat> or I might make a dispenser. I haven't decided yet. But I was noticing <clears throat> behind. The whole, um, behind the whole tunnel here, that's the outside of the tower. Not the outside, but yeah, the outside of the tower wall. That goes all the way up to the very top. And I'm thinking that might make a good map room. If I clean a lot of that up, and extend it in uh, several several blocks in every direction. I could go. Up, I could make a staircase to go up here and look at it, and I could also look at it from down here. 
<clears throat> and if I ever make like a boat launching place, I could uh, connect it to the minecart and grab the map I need or whatever and just go from here to the boat launch. So that's what I think I'm going to tentatively plan on doing that. It's going to be pretty, pretty large. Probably 15, 20 blocks high. I want to be able to see it all from down here. And uh, maybe like 20 by 20 or 10 by 10. I'll have to go measure the one up upstairs. I don't remember how big it is, but it's going to be about twice the size of that one. Okay, so I've got a track, or not the track, but the, the path that the track is going to go. At least, at least this is how I'm planning on it going right now. This one is going to the skeleton spawner. Goes down here. Here it goes across here, so you can see this part of the first spawner, the, or the, the highest spawner. And it goes through here, and there's a ravine through here. It's going to be glassed in, so you'll be able to see it while you're going by. Right now, I just got this like this for safety. Then it goes down. And it comes out here. And lands right here. So the one thing I might change is I might have this part. It's kind of close right here. So when you come around the corner, you're like right there. So I might have it go farther this way. And then turn right and come this way. Just so you get a better look at it from a distance. So if I extend the pa passes a little longer, I'll come out right here. <clears throat> and this might be a cooler approach. And if I wanted to make it longer, I could even go more that way. And somewhere in here, I'll drive across the detector rail. And it will trigger the spawner to come on. I think, because... Uh, If I do it that way, the only way I'll be able to shut the spawner off is by going leaving. And that will still leave some skeletons probably here. So I might have to have some sort of override where when I shut it I can I can turn it on by riding in and then I can shut it off here with a button and then shutting it off with the button will, will somehow also prevent it from coming back on when I ride the, the minecart back. <clears throat> there might be a way to do that with the repeaters the way one will if you set them uh, if one repeater is going into another it will sometimes lock one repeater in a certain position on or off so I might have to play around with that or I might just say to heck with it and just put a lever here to turn it off and on we'll have to see so to get to the wheat farm we're gonna go this way up 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 there you can see it. And there's probably going to be a small little landing area here or whatnot. And then this will be open. I just get it blocked off to keep mobs out. That will be a pretty quick, quick trip. <clears throat> I'm probably going to make this wider. 
I want to hide some of. The, I wanted to hide quite a bit of the track. I'll probably make the selector, the selector panel in the middle here, where you choose where you want to go. Although I want to be able to come out here and look at the map up there too. Of course, I could put the map up here as well. I haven't decided yet. We'll just have to see. But either way, the selector is going to be where you choose where you want to go. There will be a bunch of buttons or levers. And uh, the track will be behind a wall. And depending on which button you push, the redstone will activate the track to turn in a certain direction to go to where you have selected. Okay, I've been working on this for quite a while. And uh, this is a design for a track selector that I saw in one of Ethos's videos. He said he did not design it, but I am going to provide a link to his video because that is where I saw it. And it can have five, I, can, I have five selections here, two of them are spoken for. You can actually go as long as, as many as, oops, what am I here? Or slime. You can go as many as you want in a row. <clears throat> I'm only going to do five because I can't imagine needing any more than that. So uh, the one that's selected is not lit. So when you select one, It changes, it shuts the light off so you know which one you're, you'll be going to. I might move the signs up here closer. Yeah, I think that's better. So also what happens, this is also, when you press the button, it launches the, the cart. <clears throat> so when you come in the room, it'll be like this. Sit in the cart. You say you got to go get arrows. Whoa, glitchy. I just updated to 1.4.5 and... Uh, that was kind of glitchy. But what happens is uh, when you press a button, a piston brings this block up and lights the powered rail. And the block comes up to, to make the cart go because it won't go on flat ground or without a, or I should say it won't go without a block behind it. And <clears throat> I have one similar in by my uh, in here by the mining uh, cart. This is the same thing. I had to open it up to remember how to do it <laughs> because I was working on it over here and I couldn't get it to work, and uh, I was doing it wrong. But I got it figured out now. But I still have to hook up this part here for. When you're coming back, this is going to trigger the block to come up to stop you. And it needs to happen without this being lit. So I haven't figured that out yet, but I can always go look again. So um, I'm only going to do two tracks. And they're going to be, the track's going to go around this way. And it's going to go in, into this probably a, either a one by a one by three or a three by three shaft, and then it will branch off in the directions in the, for the destinations. And off the back here is where is where you have the 
the uh, the length to uh, what track you want to use. So for instance, see how this one is not selected. The track will be coming this way. But it's not facing the right direction. But if that one was selected, it's going to be the, the wheat farm. The track turns into the right direction. And it, you branch them off of the end of the selector here. So I think how it works is because there's no block in the way, I think it uses this block as a circuit. It shuts off this right here. Or it might be shutting it off because uh, the, this is powered. I'm not really sure why it works, but I do know that, that is how it works. This is getting power from somewhere. Oh, I know. This is getting powered from. I see. This when the piston is up, the power is going through this block. To the, to the repeater and that's when it's not selected. When it's selected and the piston goes down then there is no power going to there and the track changes to which you need it to where you want to go. But that's a pretty cool uh, design. It's really uh, compact However, the wiring is going to be all over the place, so it's going to take me a while to get that set because there's going to be five different tracks and they're all going to be a real pain to link up. <laughs> so uh, the next things I got to do are hook up this so that when I pass over it on the way back, the piston will push the block up without turning this on. And then I guess start working on these tunnels. So I'm going to do that for a little while and I'll show you what I come up with. Alrighty, so I get this working right here. So if you ride in it, it will stop the cart in the correct position. Nice. Then if you want to go somewhere. Man, look at how buggy that minecart is. That's just since the last update. I just updated. It's uh, 1.4.5. And that's a brand new glitch. I'm sure they'll fix it. but Makes for a bumpy ride. I've decided that I'm not going to make this the map room because uh, I don't think there's going to be enough room to really see it, a map up on that wall. This is pretty much how it's going to be in here. You just come in to ride the cart. In order to see up there, you're going to have to walk all around here. And I don't like the way it's set up, so I'm not going to make this the map room. I'll make it somewhere else. And I'll put this back the way it was. Well, I think I've worked on this for as long as I'm going to this episode. <clears throat> I've got all the tracks and selectors laid. So when you select a track, oops, there goes the cart. When you select a track, it will send the it will it will select the, the correct tra uh, the track will turn so that you'll go down the correct uh, shaft. I've just closed this room in a little. I gotta get more glowstone to do another one of these over here. I gotta get that cart. So this one here, you see how the track changed. Oop. And the second one's over here. Changes to to uh let you out <clears throat> and so forth and so on. Where'd that minecart go? 
<clears throat> and then on the way back, say like you going to the wheat farm. So you see how on the way back here, the tracks are all defaulting so that you'll go out the wrong way. So I had to put these pressure plates in. Not pressure plates, but uh, detector rails. So that as we go, it will turn them back the proper way. Oh, that one didn't work. I wonder if it didn't work or if I'm so glitchy I didn't get there in time. Let me just see. Yeah, it's working. It's because of the glitch. The minecart is really glitchy right now. Yeah, it works. <clears throat> Alright, very good. So I decided not to do the map room up there because it just there wasn't enough room. You just you have to come in and, and just you basically get right in the cart and select where you want to go. <laughs> so glitchy. Hope they fix that soon. Okay, so I'm done working on this for a while and uh we're gonna go do another map. So I'll see you up at the map room and show you which one we're going to do. Alright, so here's the current map situation. I did this one last time, so we're going to do this one down here. So we're going to go to this one and then take a left. And when we get to the middle of the next map, we'll create the other map. So I will see you when I get to that area. I'm not sure how much I'm going to show you of that area. Definitely, if anything, if I come across any new biomes, I'll show that or anything interesting. So I'm on an island out in the ocean and I found a cave system and I think I found a dungeon. And I think it might be a skeleton spawner. So let's go check it out. I'm not going to trap it or anything. I am going to take all the mossy stone and whatever the treasure there is. Zombie spotter. I'm just going to take it out. There's no need of it. Let's see what we got. Pig saddles, yes. Ah, I don't need big saddles. Take these chests. We're definitely going to take all this cobblestone. Another dungeon. Looks like another zombie dungeon. Yeah. 
Nice. How many more pig saddles are gonna be in here? None. Good. Cool, man. Skeleton. Nice. Oops. Well, these caves just keep going, so uh, I'm just going to head back. This is the little island where I found all that stuff, the caves and two spawners. Not much to it, but there was a big hole right here. I blocked it off with dirt. That's how I saw it. Alright, let's keep doing this map a lot about does it for that map didn't find anything too extraordinary I did get a few resources though from that caving expedition so uh, I'm gonna head back to the base and slap this thing on the wall and uh, show you what I do next week All right, <clears throat> whole lot of water. So I'll probably do this one next time, because over here I'm getting nowhere quick. <clears throat> I'll do this one, and uh, this is the middle right here. And then I might even do a level here, oh, a layer over here, even though I know some of it's snow biome. At least it'll be something different, because this is real pain over here. Each map takes about two hours and uh, I'm really not getting anything out of it <clears throat> too much really. That's going to do it for this episode. <clears throat> Next time I'll have this finished or I'll have the tunnels finished to the skeleton spawners and the wheat farm. I'll probably do that off, off camera because there's not going to be anything too exciting about it. <clears throat> I will show you what I how they look at the end though. And I really want to make a map room, so I might make that in here. I'll have to blow a big hole out in here. It's going to take up a lot of room. And uh, that's probably what mostly we're going to do next time. Now I'll move all the maps down here, and I just want a big huge area where I can <clears throat> see all of them at once and perhaps climb up and get closer views if I need to. So thanks for watching.